Welcome back to another episode on Photoshop Basics series on Webtrix Zoom. Today we'll be learning how to create a business card on Photoshop. We'll be using the Paint tool and the Type tool to create a business card here. Since we have already learned both of them, using them shouldn't be a problem by now. Let's get started. Let's create a new file and define the size for the business card then. Hit Ctrl or Command N or go to File menu and click on New for that. The standard size for business cards will be 85mm width and 55mm height. Since we are going to print it, the resolution should be anywhere from 150 to 300. Let's go with 300 pixel per inch. And the color mode will be CMYK. Background white is OK. We don't need to modify the color profile. Since the business cards are printed in bulk, we need to leave space around the card, what we call bleeding space. Let's add 3mm on each side as bleeding space. So the final size of the document will be 91mm width and 61mm height. We can set the preferences as a preset so that we could use it in the future. Let's name it business card and you can see what preferences are being stored. Once saved, the preset will appear in the preset drop down here so that next time you need to design a business card, you can simply select this one instead of typing the values yourself. Hit OK and you can see the document open up. Since we need to mark the bleeding space, let's go to the marquee tool. Select fixed size in the style on the options bar and enter 3mm on both width and height. Now, click anywhere within the document area and you can see a 3x3 selection appears. Click and drag it to the top left corner and add guideline on both sides. Drag it to the bottom right corner and add guidelines on the remaining two sides. And you can see the blending space is marked out. Now, you can go on to create your own design of business card. I'll create one that I've seen somewhere online. Alright. And for that, I'll select the paint tool. Select the shape mode. Select a fill color. Let's go with yellow with no strokes and create some shapes here. Let's create a shape with straight line. Now let's make it a bit curvy with the add anchor point tool. Well, that looks alright. Let's add some more shapes then. Let's make it a faded green. And let's add the stroke 2 over here. Let's add another shape here. I'll convert it to a shadow. 
let's make it light gray then let's add Gaussian blur here you need to rasterize the layer first for that choose a value that looks good for you let's add an image here Let's resize it to fit inside the boundary. Now, what I want to do is keep the area of the image behind the yellow shape and remove the rest. For that, I'll hold the controller command key and click on the thumbnail of the yellow shape. You can see the area of the yellow shape is selected here. But if you check the layers panel, the image layer is active. Let's hide all other layers for now. Let's select the marquee tool. Right click on the selection area and choose select inverse. That will select all the area of the image layer behind the area of the yellow shape. Hit delete and you can see the image is streamed. Let's select the text here. Right click on it and select fill. Choose container wear on the fill type. Hit OK and you can see the text is replaced by the color here. Let's turn on the shape layers then. Select the yellow shape and drop the opacity to produce a nice artistic feel. Let's group all of these then. We don't need to modify them. Let's add a logo here then. Let's create a simple flower petal using the paint tool. Group it as well. Let's distort it to give a tilted appearance. Now, all we need to do is add the details of the business card holder. Let's select the type tool. I'll use Ervardian script here. Well, black looks more prominent than white, right? Let's turn the logo black then. We have multiple layers there. So the easy option would be to add a solid color adjustment layer to it. Clip it to the logo group and you can see the logo becomes black easily. Let's add some more details at the bottom.
play with the size and spacing of the contents to your liking and you'll get a beautiful business card design. Well, that's all about creating business cards in Photoshop. I hope this video really helps you to learn Photoshop to a great extent. Hit like if you found this video useful. If you think you have some ideas that can help me produce more better videos, share it through the comments. Let me know what you feel about the video through the comments as well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.